want. And we believe in other people's rights to do what they want. That's what libertarianism is, is real freedom, not the authoritarianism of the left or the controlled right, and we're waking up. Paul Watson. The question is, why do they recoil in horror at somebody like Dan Bidondi? It's because he's holding up a mirror to them. He's showing them how to do their job. He's a journalistic bulldog. Yes, he might not be the most polished, but he's acting in that adversarial role that the mainstream media has completely abandoned, is being trashed for and losing all their audience for. That's why they're so threatened by a Dan Bedondi, by an Infowars.com, by an Alex Jones, because we're supplanting them, we're stealing their audience, we're pushing accurate, true narratives while they try and maintain this crumbling facade of the Obama administration and the U.S. military-industrial complex. They're scared to death. They're filled with sheer terror that somebody, a journalist, could dare to ask real questions of public officials. That's right, and that's why they want to ridicule us. That's why they want to attack us. If you just joined us, the video is up on InfoWars.com. I know Paul's going to do an article about it. The sniveling tyranny of him saying, you will not confiscate our guns, and the guy goes, go F yourself. That's their plan, and they're a bunch of thugs. And... Again, it blew up in their face. It made them look bad. So they're acting like it made us look bad. Dan Bedondi is a hero. Our entire crew of people are amazing folks. Our listeners that support us are heroes and heroines. And we salute every single one of you out there. We have the truth. We have the high ground. We're the liberals in the vein of Thomas Jefferson. And we will never be stopped. And we're on the march. And the spirit that Dan Bedondi has, because I've gone and done similar things, been arrested by Bush and others, to march in there and to have the Secret Service, when Obama wasn't even in town, come up to him on national TV and threaten him on both sides and FBI thugs from Obama. Not your average FBI, the internal political FBI. The average FBI is pretty good. To sit there and get in his face and tell him not to ask questions about the drill that was in the Boston Globe. We're going to blow Sandy Hook wide open, punks. We're going to blow your next false flag open. We are going to teach people about false flags. You listen to those generals and the defense minister, they're talking about false flag in Arabic, in Turkish, because that's the term the military uses, folks. It's in army manuals how to stage false flags. Grow up, America. Stop being so naive, ladies and gentlemen. All right, I'm going to turn the show back over to you guys. I'll be calling in with more reports uh, throughout the days on Sunday and Monday. But I salute the entire team. This is big news that the Turkish false flag is now in the BBC and other publications. We forced it out. Great job, Paul Watson, the entire team, the writers, everybody, the customer service, the shipping department, our entire operation is absolutely getting on all cylinders, and we are going in 110% and never backing off. They tell us to be calm. They tell us to shut up. They tell us that's how we get things done politically. That's how we lost this country. We are not going to be put in a box or label. We want freedom. We want it now. 1776 worldwide. God bless you. Exactly right, Alex. You know, they picked a very bad day to scoff at the idea of false flags. There's so much historical evidence. We've got an article up yet again. We keep putting this out every time this comes up. The history of false flags. Another article up today on InfoWars. But the, to pick the very day that we've got a NATO false flag, a Turkish false flag being put out and YouTube being turned off for an entire country to try to censor that and all of the press censoring it. That's bad timing for Chris Hayes and MSNBC, isn't it, Paul? It's very bad timing, David. <laughs> and I mean, it wasn't MSNBC who were the first to report on um, Zarnev being unarmed at the bow when they went on the manhunt for these alleged Boston bombers. It was Infowars.com. It wasn't MSNBC that reported on the fact that the whole narrative behind Zarnev's throat wound, again, was completely fabricated, a complete lie. Another aspect to this is the fact that, again, Hayes describes the, um, the reaction, the uh, state senator's reaction, go F yourself to Dan Bedondi, as absolutely justifiable profanity. He's saying it's justified. This is why MSNBC is completely out of touch with the American people, because the backlash was so severe. Mm -hmm. Miller, the state senator, was forced to terminate his entire Facebook page after issuing this public apology. I mean, I was on it when it was when it broke and it was going absolutely insane. Again, the 250,000 views on the YouTube uh, video, 700 respondents, vast majority of them slamming Miller over his uh, profane laden response. I'm so glad again, there was that kind of a, an approach, you know, 
we didn't see that happen so much when Nancy Pelosi said, are you serious? When they asked her about the constitutionality of Obamacare. We should have seen that kind of backlash. I appreciate that that's finally happening, and it's happening because of InfoWars. We're going to be right back with Paul Joseph Watson. We're going to continue to talk about this revelation from Turkey. Stay tuned. One week left to get free shipping on every order over $150 from Emergency Essentials. And that's not all. We have the guaranteed lowest prices anywhere. Like our new Farmer's Market Vegetable Combo that's on sale for 50% off. That's six cans of freeze-dried veggies for only $79.99. Or get Mountain House Pork Chops for 22% off. Call Emergency Essentials at 800-999-1863. Or click BePrepared.com. The choice is clear. Be unprepared or BePrepared.com. Silver has always been nature's very own antibiotic, and only one system allows you to generate an endless supply of natural silver solutions, silverlungs.com. You'll find no wild claims or pseudoscience, just a lifetime of nano-sized pure silver solutions. The Silver Lungs generator allows you to make your own, so stop paying for silver solutions. The unique lung delivery system targets respiratory infections where other silver solutions simply cannot reach. See the Silver Lungs generator and lung delivery system at silverlungs.com. That's silverlungs.com. Great news, pure water lovers. BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com has a special discount offer for all GCN listeners. You can't do better than a Big Berkey for economy. For only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. There's none better than a Big Berkey for emergency preparedness as a backup water source. And you just can't beat a Big Berkey to remove dangerous chlorine, all types of fluoride, pathogenic bacteria, cysts, parasites, and unhealthy bodies products from municipal water. Berkey water filter systems are even powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. For the gold standard in water filters, get a Big Berkey at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. And all GCN listeners get 5% off all ceramic filter systems. For details, call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey Water Filters, for the love of clean water. Jessica Armand here, creator of My Magic Mud, the all-natural teeth whitener and strengthening remedy that's getting rave reviews from GCN listeners. Here's what Austin dentist Dr. Griffin Cole has to say about it. I really love this Magic Mud product. Because charcoal is so absorbent, it's very effective at taking off all the sticky plaque and debris that gets stuck on our teeth every day. I highly recommend My Magic Mud. Visit MyMagicMud.com to hear the full interview with Dr. Cole. Get your jar today. That's MyMagicMud.com. How can you save a ton of money and prepare for emergencies? By having your own in-home freeze dryer from Harvest Right. Now you can cut down on wasted food by freeze drying your leftovers. That's right. Create your own long-term food storage by freeze drying your own fruits, meats, vegetables, even complete meals with the Harvest Right in-home freeze dryer. Imagine the savings and the peace of mind. See how the amazing Harvest Right freeze dryer works at HarvestRight.com. In the last 50 years, iodine has been phased out of our staple foods and replaced with the halogen bromine, a practice now banned in nations around the world. Guess what else is in the halogen family? Fluoride. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here. In 1924, the federal government did the right thing and encouraged salt producers to add iodine. It's the good halogen on the periodic table. And the results are on record. Reports documented a 15-point IQ increase in areas that had previously been deficient in iodine. Bottom line, iodine is important. Unbound, clean, in a glycerin base. Nascent iodine was the answer for myself and my family. You will find Survival Shield nascent iodine exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWars Life Survival Shield nascent iodine isn't just for emergencies. I take it every day. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call toll free 888 253 3139. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight filling in for Alex, and we've got Paul Joseph Watson on the line. We've been talking about the false flag in Turkey, how the media has ignored it, how MSNBC has mocked Dan Badandi and InfoWars for covering the false flag that we believed happened last year at the Boston bombing. Paul, you were talking about the effect that InfoWars had had. I remember when this was happening live, and as we were watching them 
show the tapes of these uh, suspects when they finally identified the Sarneo brothers as being the suspects they were looking for, Leanne McAdoo said, the backpacks are the wrong color. One of them was white, and the backpacks have been shown as being these black backpacks. So we reported that, and it was kind of surreal because it took about, in about 20 minutes, CNN lined up a guy who was an FBI consultant, and he comes out and he goes, well, this is what they could have done. The guy with the white backpack, he could have had a black pack back in, backpack inside of it, and he could have pulled it out, and then that would explain it. But, you know, to this day, we have never seen any surveillance footage of them even sitting the backpacks down where they exploded. Now, of course, the governor was told by the FBI that they had such footage, but then the governor, when questioned, said he had never seen that footage. You know what? We've never seen that footage either. We also had the Southern Poverty Law Center that was pushing the idea that this was somehow related to Patriots because this is around Patriots Day. They kept pushing that and looked like they had a press conference that was set up to put that out. And they said they had the suspects all there. They had all the video footage. Abruptly, they just stopped it and delayed it for full 24 hours. So it was a very interesting time. It was very interesting to be engaged in that, to watch these things unfolding in real time. It was really kind of surreal. I guess you probably were watching it in real time as well there in England, weren't you? It, it was astounding, David. I mean, Infowars.com was bigger than DrudgeReport.com for one day, which if you understand the magnitude of that, it's jaw-dropping. You also had the incident where they arrested a naked individual during the manhunt, which was clearly the other brother who later mysteriously was shot to death. Mm -hmm. They had already arrested him earlier. He didn't resist. They put him in a paddy wagon. And later, it turns out he was shot dead. All kinds of crazy things going down during the manhunt, which, of course, was a massive uh, martial law promotional exercise. Yes. But then going back to MSNBC, again, you know, their slogan is lean forward. I mean, as I write in the article, if hosts like Chris Hayes lean forward any further, they're going to plummet into the same <laughs> bottomless pit down which MSNBC's ratings have plunged because they lost. 50% of their audience between November 2012 and 2013, 50% yeah. of their audience gone. And most of it was in the demographic of viewers aged between 25 to 54, the crucial demographic. And, you know, guess where a lot of those viewers have come to, not only to InfoWars, but to many other alternative media platforms. So and I don't even like to use the term alternative media. I like to use the term authentic media because we're not perfect, but we're trying to cover this as we see it. We're not trying to censor our news. We're not trying to to dance around the fact that a false flag has been exposed in Turkey. If we see them plotting to fire missiles on their own people to start a war, we're going to report that. Unlike the mainstream media, unlike MSNBC. The key word is adversarial. That's mm -hmm. what the media was always supposed to be about. Now it's about regurgitating state propaganda. MSNBC is no different from a White House press release. They never challenge anything. All they do is sit there all day and make jokes about you know, Mitt Romney having a black baby in his family, Melissa Harris Perry, Perry saying the state owns all our children. It's pathetic, and the, the fact that it's on the decline is so encouraging, mm -hmm. and that's why we encourage them to continue uh, with their talking points, <laughs> because they're completely failing on every front, and I've tweeted Chris Hayes directly. Let's see if he has any response. Well, that'll be interesting. I, I don't <laughs> know that he will. I'd love to see you on his program. That would be an interesting back and forth. Well... We're going to be having in the next segment, we're going to have Anthony Gucciardi come on because, you know, the possibility was brought up yet again of a false flag. When Obama brought up the possibility, the thing he's most concerned about is a nuclear bomb going off in New York. Then, of course, Homeland Security, what do they do? They pull back bomb detectors from New York City as he's saying that. So Anthony Gucciardi is going to talk to us about the possibility of that. What does it look like if you prepare for yourself and you prepare for your family before that happens? To think about the eventuality of that, because there's been so much information, as we've reported here at InfoWars, the missing nukes from Dias Air Force Base that wasn't even supposed to have nuclear weapons there. And Anthony's been on that story. He's going to join us. He's going to talk to us about that. And, of course, we've had a lot of breaking health news about Fukushima. We have a high school student doing what the FDA would not do. Paul, thank you so much for that article. Thank you for joining us. An amazing expose. It really shows what they're up to. Thanks, David. Thank you. We'll be right back with Anthony Gucciardi. Stay tuned.
We're on the march.